Hello, everybody. What's happening? Welcome to this very festivious episode of Press Start TV. Yes, I said festivious because it's one of my favorite words. I don't even think it's a real word. Oh my gosh, we've got so much to talk to you about. Um, with us, as always, is Mr. Nine Yo. and Mr. Jeremiah. Hello. My name is Will. Um, we're gonna fly through this. We got to talk about the PlayStation experience. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. And the Video Game Awards happened, so we're gonna get into that as well. Uh, so let's start. I, I, this is what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, are you ready? All right. I'm going to mention a bunch of things from the PlayStation experience, and whatever pops out in your head, we'll come back to. Okay, okay. are you ready? Okay, here we go. So the, the PlayStation experience, as I mentioned, uh, was just recently, and there were a ton of announcements, so many that I can't even list them all here, but we'll go through them, and then once again, we'll come back to them. So the PlayStation experience, they showed off gameplay of Final Fantasy VII, PS2 games you need to purchase to play on your PS4, uh, Toby is the new penguin from Battleborn, Nino Kuni 2, Psychonauts <laughs> crowd funding goes over 1 million plus already. There's Don't Starve Alone, a new Yakuza game, The Last Blade, a new Last Blade game, Last Blade 2, King of Fighters, a new King of Fighters for PS4, tons of VR stuff, Ace Combat 7, Destiny gets a new racing event with Sparrows, and a new epic game called Paragon that's a MOBA. So there's a bunch of stuff that came out of the PlayStation experience. What stands out to you out of that list? Yeah, Jeremiah and I both really want to talk about the first thing you said, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII gameplay. Okay, sure. Jeremiah, what do you got? I, I thought it looks great. It's, it's really, really sharp looking. It's one of the most gorgeous things I've seen. <laughs> Literally. This is one of the most beautiful things. It's it's I've gorgeous. Ever seen. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but they've changed so much. That's why. Well, it's a remake. It's supposed to change, right? Right, but uh, do you? Are you one of those? Don't mess with what's good, or I mean, yeah, if it ain't a little broke, bit. Don't fix it. It's it's. I had really a lot of mixed feelings and a lot of emotions about it, but I think it's because. <laughs> I was really torn up about it. I was really torn up about it. I <laughs> felt cut deep. Because I was, I was at that right age when it came out. Sure. You know, I was... I'll... 1997. So, yeah. Well, like a lot was... of people. I mean, this, this, was a, this is a legendary game. Right. I mean, and it, 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 was, it had a lot of milestones in it. it. They did a lot of things right. They did a lot of things wrong with it, it, it certainly too. changed the face of Final Fantasy. I did. It kind of put I, it I on the map as a mainstream. I would RPGs. No, because they still followed the same formula. I mean, I think, well, that game set a new standard, I think. But It really did. But So what are, what are you, you're, you're concerned, you're happy, it looks great, what? They just say they changed so much of it, and they, the battle system is something that I'm, I'm not sure about, because when I kept seeing the battle system for what was originally versus 13 and then changed into 15. Right. I was like, okay, it's got that Kingdom Hearts feel to it. That's what it looked like. But then when I played the beta, or, you know, the demo, I should say, yeah. and it, it <clears throat> felt completely different. Like, I felt like I wasn't in control. And I just don't want to have that same feeling with so this. So is it kind of like a mix of Kingdom Hearts with uh, 13, where you initiate the attack and then they go and do it on their own time? Kind well, of it's, it's kind of a button masher. The way that's that, what Kingdom Hearts is, right? But you, it's you still you hit the button and the guy did it. This thing, like you <laughs> you you hit the button a couple times and then he'll just kind of do his own thing, like yeah. So, so it like cues the commands. Yeah, a little bit to an it's extent. It's not just like fast pace. Yeah, like you can't just bashing. you can't time combos like you feel like you want to. You know, right. where you'll be like a hit, a hit, and then maybe a faint, and then a hit. Uh, it doesn't work that way. It's really technical. It's one of those things where you just you you really don't know what you're feeling until you put it in your hands and start playing gotcha, with sure. it. And I, it just didn't feel right for me for 15, so I'm really hoping that they're not going to use that as the basis. Sure. Well, we'll see. Uh, by the way, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. We're talking about the PlayStation experience and Final Fantasy VII gameplay was shown off. Nine, what are your thoughts on it? Well, it, it's taking very heavily from the Advent Children movie. Okay. Like the character models and the, the art design is very heavily influenced by that, which is okay for some stuff, like the atmosphere and stuff, but not the character models. I did not like the character models in that movie. Okay. Um, and it's definitely clear that their their character models definitely are heavily influenced by that. And another thing that I brought up to Jeremiah earlier was where in God's name is Aerith? Hmm. She is nowhere to be seen in either the announcement trailer or this gameplay trailer. That could be a an Easter and egg. And Sephiroth. Or, Nobody's seen egg, Sephiroth either. A, uh, 
Just they're withholding some for, they're, I'm sure. they're, they're holding out, and it, it kind of makes me wonder if they're completely redesigning those characters entirely. I don't know. Possibly. I mean, everybody knows that, spoiler alert, she does die in Final Fantasy VII. If you don't know by now, sorry. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. If, do you think they're going to do that again? Do you think they're going to try to... They have to. What? It wouldn't be the same... It's a f still story. a Final Fantasy it, it, That's VII. like a staple part right. of the story. Like, if she doesn't die, then there's no point in even finishing the game. Yeah. All right, well, what else stands out to you out of that list that I mentioned off? Nino Kuni 2. Nino Kuni 2. Yeah, I yeah. love the first one. <laughs> we actually played that at E3. I don't know if you remember yeah, that. Yeah, I like, did, the, I did. The very first time. And it, Ryan, it's some people have like Pokemon and all that kind of stuff, uh, just it how is, it was set up. It's a big mishmash of, of a lot of different yeah. things. Yeah. Pokemon, everything. It, I loved it. I thought it was great. The story in it was wonderful, and it's done by like my favorite art studio in the history of the world, Studio Ghibli. I love Ghibli. I love the Studio Ghibli stuff. and. Miyazaki is now no longer doing Studio Ghibli, so this is his last final project in terms of that. I'm excited about Don't Starve Alone. I was a huge Don't Starve cool. fan. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that, that they're doing it. Yeah, co-op. That, that can only be so much harder, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you're both not in the safe place at night, what happens? <laughs> we need more resources. Go up and get them. I'm not going no, out I'm not there. I'm not going out there. <laughs> you go out there. <laughs> Um, Destiny Racing event, uh, I think that's pretty cool. All the different ways you can that's have fun service. with, yeah. That's, yep. that's really all that is, fan service. For sure. Um, PS2 games uh, that you need to purchase, I mean. This yeah. was kind of a, a sword. It is a little sword. It's a double-edged sword, this one. It's great that PS2 classics are on PS4. It's all right. great well, that they well, support trophies. We're going to follow up with that right after this when we get back. Hey everybody, welcome back. So we're talking about the PlayStation experience still. Let's tie up that last comment, Nine. I know you were talking about uh, PlayStation 2 games. Yeah, so, well, you know, we got PlayStation 2 games on PS4 now. They're available now. You can go out and buy them on the PlayStation Store. But that's the thing. You, gotta, you have to buy them. You can't just pop in your disc and get the install and update it and all that fun stuff. It has to be a purchase title. Now granted, they're not reasonably <laughs> overpriced, but they're 10, 15 year old games. Yeah. Some of these games should not be twenty dollars. Yeah. I was expecting ten dollars at best. Well, they are fourteen ninety nine is the most expensive. Is and it fourteen ninety nine? Yeah, and then two of them are ten bucks right yeah. now. But of the eight that are available, Four. three of them are. I uh, see. I think Grand Theft Auto. Uh, oh, 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 you're talking about, okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say four are only worth playing. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to, I mean, yeah, out of three, all of those, there's they got all Vice City, eight of them. San Andreas, and three, right? Right. I would say that it's a step in the right direction, but I definitely ugh, I'd like to be able to put the disc in I'm the I'm going to buy Dark Cloud, because that yeah, was one that's, of my all-time favorite game. PS2 games. Oh, man, I love it. The and they added trophy support for all these games. That's cool. The thing that bugged awesome. me about it, though, was... I, I wanted to play Rogue Galaxy. It was one of the games that I right. wanted to play, and it was interesting that I saw it on the list, and I was like, cool! So I had it up on the TV, the, the list of the games that you could buy, and I was about to look, and then I looked over directly to the left of my TV, and that's where I had my PS2 games. <laughs> and you saw it sitting. And saw it sitting right there, and I was like, it's right there! I gotta I, pay $14.99 yeah. again to play this thing? That it's frustrating. Stinks. It's frustrating. It was just absolutely... Oh. Okay. So the Video Game Awards were just recently as well. There's a lot going on towards the end of the year, yeah. and so many awards were given out. Uh, we'll talk about what they did, and we'll kind of talk a little bit about um, if we agree or not. Some of the announcements that came out of there, um, and I know you guys were waiting for this, uh, there is a new Shaq Fu game. Yes! <laughs> I'm actually genuinely excited about this. Shaq, Shaq Diesel, is a terrible man. game, he, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Shaq Diesel. He shows up, man, he's just like, yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, hey, I want to talk about my game. <laughs> and talk about Shaq Fu. Shaq, we love you. Uh, it just, you know, good for you, I think. I mean, for... 20 a, years, 30 years almost. And it's <laughs> rated like one of the most terrible games ever. Oh, it's ever. a terrible fighting game. It's awful. But that's what makes it so much fun at the same time. It's cool that he's getting a reboot. Uh, it's, uh, hopefully it's good. I hope This it's good one game. looks, ironically, really fun. <laughs> okay, so new Shaq Fu game for you. Also, Warner Brothers uh, announced with Telltale they're doing yes. a new Batman game. This is going to sell like 
freaking hot case. Pretty exciting. I can't wait to see how that turns out. I hope out. they do it like in the announcement trailer and do it comic book style. Like they did like Walking that. Dead? Well, no, no, like actual like panels, like oh, comic okay. book style. Because that looked really awesome, in my opinion. And, you know, each game has its own kind of art style in its own right, you know? But that would be genuinely cool to just that. Can't wait to see what they come up with. Very exciting. Um, so let's talk about some of the awards. Um, and again, you're watching and listening to Press Start TV. We're going to talk about the Video Game Awards. My name's Will. This is Nine. This yep. is Jeremiah. Hello. Best Family Game went to Mario Maker. That's fitting. Any surprises? A, I mean, it's not a surprise, I don't think. It's a, it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. It can be challenging at the same time. I I'm, totally agree with all that. Mario Maker is a fantastic game. Congratulations to Nintendo on that. Best fighting game, Mortal Kombat. No shock. Who no. else was there? I don't know. Street Fighter. Guilty Gear. Well, no, Street Fighter Street out Fighter's yet? not out yet. It's not, it comes out at the beginning of the year, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be a great So never mind. Yeah, Guilty Gear and Something Metal else. Gear. Or Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so I mean, Metal Gear Fighting. Ooh, that could actually be fun. What's that? Metal Gear Brothers. Fighting Game? A Metal Gear. Oh, Metal Gear Fighting Game. Yeah, <laughs> that could be fun. Um, best esports team went for all of you esports fans out there, went to Optic. Um, some people say it's no surprise, it's a little bit of a controversy, but they really had a great year, uh, great season, so congratulations to them. Right. Um, best uh, eSports Game of the Year went to Counter-Strike Global Offense, congratulations there. No shock. Um, no shock. Counter-Strike's been around for ages. Most anticipated game was the Barbie Horse Adventure game, so it was yeah, a little Barbie bit Horse of a Adventure shock two. of that title. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. You can't do it. <laughs> no Man's Sky. No Man's Sky, most anticipated game of the year. Absolutely no shock there I'm not either. surprised about that either, no. That is my most anticipated title. You know, I am, I'll save it for next week, but I've got, that is not my most anticipated title. It's, How? It's, How is that not it's possible? It's squeaked out by a hair from one particular game. Anyway, um, best narrative went to Her Story. I don't know a whole lot about this game. It's an FMV game, it. that's what I know. Yeah. Um, I think it's like an investigation. And best performance by uh, someone also went to this game. And yeah. so I think that's the great thing about the Video Game Awards. I mean, it might bring your attention to a, a title that maybe you overlooked or didn't think you would be into, but apparently a yeah. lot of people thought enough of it to won a bunch of awards. So hey, is that anything you want to get into? Or? The, were there any more awards? I mean, the her story thing. Oh, me personally, I haven't. I haven't really even read much about it. I don't know much about it. I didn't know about it until the video games awards. Yeah. Then I started looking it up. I was like, this sorry seems about that, interesting. guys. <laughs> Best indie game went to Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> Rocket. Yeah. What is Rocket? Yeah. Please Rocket. tell us. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rocket yeah. Uh, Rocket League. Congratulations. Um, they well deserved. Best sports well deserved. game, I think, as well. That was a bit of a shock. I, not to me. No? Not to me at all. I actually predicted that on the checkpoint, is that Rocket League. No, I said FIFA, didn't I? No, I know I said FIFA. You, I think you did say Rocket League. I think I did. I Rocket League's well deserved NBA, about those awards. Well, that game is a lot of fun. It's blowing up the eSports. Dude, I'm not... It's just... I'm not I called it for a um, indie game, the best indie game, but I, it's a great game. But I don't know if it was best sports game of the year. I think either FIFA or NBA, in my opinion. But um, congratulations! Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it is a fantastic game, and you're right, it's super popular. Oh, it's super popular. And they just released a bunch of DLC for it. I think. They're releasing DLC like every month at this point. <laughs> the Portal crossover stuff's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, most trendy gamer went to Greg Miller. Greg. We love you. Congratulations. Uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you soon. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, when we get back, we're going to continue with some of the awards from the VGAs right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. We were just talking about the VGAs and some of the awards that were given out. And let's continue with that. My name's Will. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Nine. Yo. Best... Art direction went to Ori and the Blind Forest. This, what do you guys think about that? I mean, Ori and the Blind surprised. Forest is a I mean, it's a beautiful great game. Great looking game, yeah. It, it's got a fantastic story. It's a good, beautiful, gorgeous game. I'm still a little surprised. Yeah. I think because it was a bit more of the whimsical feel than a yeah, lot of the I other ones were. I think that's what pushed it. They weren't looking the for the technical aspect as much as, you know, the artsy. So right. that's, for me, when I heard that, I was like, wow, that makes sense. Okay. 
When yeah. you put it like that, yes, it makes sense. Best action game with the Metal Gear? No shock. Um, you know, F, uh, for an action game, I mean, I guess there is definitely action. I should, yeah, okay. It depends on how you play the game. Yeah. You can play it all stealth and see no action. <laughs> yeah. Or you can go in like I do, guns blazing, and die 15 times before you finally figure out how to do the mission. <laughs> yeah, that's that happened to me a couple times as well. Every mission. <laughs> uh, best soundtrack also went to Metal Gear. That's that's one of the ones that I, I called. I, I mean, I love a great soundtrack to the game and sound effects to a game. I think that should be important as well. Yeah. If, if there was a best sound effects, it would go to Star Wars, in my opinion. Well, that's because of dice. Man. Their Frostbite engine is unrivaled Crazy. in sound effects. <laughs> um, but best soundtrack. Um, have you have you played Metal Gear yet? Uh, I've played it a smidgen. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually surprised Star Wars wasn't considered for best soundtrack. Maybe not soundtrack, but like I said, the effects. You feel like you're in a Star Wars game. I mean, it, it's, it's because insane. of the music and the sound effects. Well, yeah, certainly the, the music, music definitely plays a big key role in Star Wars movies. I mean, yeah. everyone knows the music, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's how they tie the music and certain things together. One of the things I liked about Destiny when I first started playing it was when you get to some of those boss fights and it's like, you know, the music's kind of just moving along in the background. Or Halo, you know, a game like sure. that. Halo's yeah. got a great score. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Um, best shooter went to Splatoon. It's a bit of a shock. Yeah? Because usually a more mature game <laughs> takes that title. What do you think, Jeremiah? I think that there were better shooters out there than that. Well, I think for this one, they were looking for something that changed the approach to shooters. Okay. In a different way, because most shooters are just the same you thing. It's shoot a first guys. person shooter, yeah. shoot the bad guys. Shoot the guys that aren't on your team. This is more of a team based objective style thing. It's third person. You can do first person, but it's a lot more difficult. I say congratulations. I, I just. It's it, a fun game. It's a fun game. They did a great job with it. It's a great experience. And if you can get a group of people together, great. Lots of fun. Yeah, just. All right. Um, and we're still talking about the Video Game Awards that were just announced. And again, you're watching Press Start TV. My name's Will, Jeremiah Nine. Yo. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> um, best developer went to C CD Projekt Red. Not Good. shocking. I called that one. Yeah. Those guys are you on did. point. I thought it was going to be Bethesda, but I'm glad it's CD Projekt. It c yeah. For me, it could have gone to either one. The slight edge I gave to CD Projekt Red because of their stance on DLC. I actually, I, I, congratulations, CD Projekt Red. I actually gave it to Bethesda um, just because I, I think I followed <laughs> their development through Fallout a little bit more. And, um, you know, but uh, like you said during the Checkpoint podcast, they put a ton of time in. Uh, oh, yeah. to, to The Witcher. And, and they put a personal thank you inside of every copy of the game. It's cool. Yeah, if you Which, bought a copy <laughs> at the store, you got a whole lot of crap in yeah, the box. Yeah, stickers, a full fold-out map of the world of The Witcher, the the actual, like, hand manual. Right. It was all you don't color. see anymore. It you don't all, see that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and they gave you uh, a CD of the, the soundtrack. Score. Yeah. Awesome. All in the box. It and a awesome. personal thank you. Oh, and I got the medallion, too, when I got it. Oh, you get the collector's edition? Yeah. Okay. Um, the best RPG also went the to The Witcher. Pretty crazy. Rightfully so. I think it's a better RPG than Fallout. It's a, it's a, in terms of, like, classic RPG, Witcher is far better in that stance. Mm -hmm. Fallout is more of a... Adventure game. At this I don't point. even know what Fallout is. I was I've been playing it. And it's a simulation game. This one, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fallout Shelter on PS4. Yeah, it's um, what Fallcraft is that? What it's Fallcraft? There going? you go. <laughs> That's how I've been playing it. It's miserable, miserable. <laughs> you keep playing it though. I can't yeah, help dude. it. It's, it's a compulsion. It's so much fun. It's All addicting. Right. It's like and crap. game of the year. Uh, again, the 2015 Video Game Awards went the to Awards. The Witcher as well. What do you guys think about that? So Game of the Year goes to The Witcher. Uh, that's fine by me. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I, I never, I didn't finish it. I put about 60 hours I in. That's it. the thing, man. There that's it is again. percent of people have not finished the game. <laughs> How can this game be so amazingly awesome and nobody can continue to play it? I don't it's, get it. It was just timing. Something else came out I, that I started playing. That's I the think. kind of game that should have come out like January, February. 
not when June. did that one come out? I don't out, remember. I believe it came out in June, just before E3, didn't it? Yeah. I think I yeah. played that for a while, and then I started playing Destiny. Is what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and you know, again, once again, congratulations, CD Projekt Red, mm. Game of the Year, Best so RPG, good. Best Developer. I mean, wow. Um, I think a lot of people were picking Fallout for Game of the Year, and. Um, it's definitely a fan pick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, wow, I mean, congratulations, an amazing, amazing game. And, I mean, there were some other good games in there. I think Metal Gear was in there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what else was in there? Fallouts, of Fallout, course. Metal Gear, Batman, um, The Witcher, and Super Mario Maker. Yeah. So. Because I own four of those five games. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of good choices. All right, well, there you have it. That's all the time we have for you today. Thank you, as always, so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, you can check out all of our content on PressStartTV.com. Mm -hmm. That's PressStartTV.com. You can check us out on YouTube at YouTube.com slash PSVGTV. Again, thank you, as always. Until next time, we'll see you. Hasta luego.